Hi guys, my name is Beaver Joe. I'm one student. I like coding, drawing, animation, and share my knowledge with friends. I'm planning to show you guys two tutorials per week, including Unity Engine, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and some classical games. I know I have bad accidents, so that each tutorial I will share the text version from the description below. Also, all assets in this tutorial can simply download by GitHub. Nice to meet you guys. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to slice sprites inside Unity. Sprites are 2D graphic objects used for characters, projectiles, and other elements of 2D gameplay. At the end, you will have four methods of slicing sprites in Unity. So, let's begin. Now we have created one 2D project in Unity. Let's create one folder called Sprites. In this tutorial, I will drag each sprite into this folder. Just make this project look nice. I have made some images by using Photoshop. Save it as PNG format. Back to Unity and drag the image to your sprite folder. After importing that successfully, you can put them inside my scene view. In here, you have to make sure two things. First, check the texture type in Inspector view. You can only see the Sprite Edit button if the texture type on the image you have selected is set to Sprite 2D and UI. The second thing I have to check is the Sprite mode. In this part, it should be single mode. By the way, you can simply download all Sprite assets from the description below. However, most images contain more than one element. One of the lazy methods is copy the layer of these elements in Photoshop and paste to a new one. Then export single images to the Unity again, such like this. Well, this method looks weird and waste your time. In Unity, we have three different methods to slice complex sprites. First, let's save this image as PNG format and drag the image to the sprite folder in Unity. Then open the sprite editor. The Sprite Editor lets you extract Sprite graphic from a large image and add a number of component images within a single texture in your image editor. You could use this, for example, to keep the arms, legs, and the body of a character as separate elements within one image. Inside the Sprite Editor, there are three methods of slicing the sprites. In here, we are using automatic slicing. Press the slice button. Unity can save your work by detecting the graphic elements and extracting them for you automatically. Notice that after any of the automatic slicing methods has been used, the generated rectangles can still be added manually. You can let Unity handle the rough definition of the sprite boundaries and pivots and then do any necessary fine tuning yourself. One possible reason perhaps I didn't erase all unnecessary colors in Photoshop layer and export directory. Fortunately, we can check again inside the sprite editor. By the way, there is one RGB button on the upper left corner. Press the button will change the background color which makes you easy to check in the sprite editor. The slider can zoom in and zoom out in this editor as well. Press the apply button and close the sprite editor. Now one image has been sliced into several parts. So this is automatic slicing. We can use this method to sew many complex sprites. For example, this is one character I made by Adobe Illustrator. We can use the automatic slicing method to keep the arms, legs, and the body of a character as separate elements within one image. Drag the character sprites into Unity, then check the texture type and the multiple mode. Open the sprite editor and automatically slice the sprites. You can click each part and rename them, which makes you easy to read. 
after pressing apply button, you can easily control this character. This will be very convenient for the animations and the coding later. So while we still need another two methods, let's drag another sprite into Unity. This sprite is downloaded on website when I use RPG Maker. Each element is already laid out in a regular pattern during creation. When I use automatic methods to slice the images, we can see that certain elements connect with each other and cannot be separated automatically. The possible reason for that might be the automatic slicing methods cannot detect the gradient color very precisely in many tiny places. So let's move to another two methods. In this sprite, let's use grid by cell size. The pixel size values determine the width and height of the tiles in pixels. Here we have calculated the pixel size is 192. Press the slice button. In the bottom right corner, we can see each element has 192 pixels width and 192 pixel height. In the folder, drag all elements to the same view and make one simple animation. Resize the sprite to make an animation clearly. Now our animation work perfect. Then, I will introduce one of my favorite methods, grade by cell count. We can continue to use this sprite. First, delete the previous sprite and animation assets. Import the sprite to this folder again. Open the sprite editor. First, choose the grade by cell count and count the number of the rows and the columns. Column and row determines the number of columns and rows used for slicing. Then, import the information to the slice window. Press the apply button and close this sprite editor. We can see each part has been sliced very well. We can open the browser and search the keywords Unity Sprites. There are many Unity amazing sprites which has been laid out in a disregular pattern. Using these methods can easy to slice sprites in your 2D game. Using grid by cell count can also slice more complex images in Unity. This is one sprite I made in Adobe Illustrator. All elements has been laid out separately by myself. First, we are going to use automatic slicing, where there is one part not satisfied with what we want. Here we want only one complete stone where the sprite editor has been sliced into two parts. For me, I would like to choose grid by cell count to solve this problem. Count the number of elements in this sprite. There are 20 parts in here. Then import 4 columns and 5 rows which will create 20 rectangles in this editor. Then you can choose each rectangle and change the size and the position to make them matching each element. After that, you can drag each element to the same view and create your own house. For me, grid by cell count can solve many problems in your daily life.
There are three different methods help you to slice sprites in Unity. However, for most users, the most direct way to use the editor is to identify the elements manually. If you click on the image, you will see a rectangular selection area appear with handles in the corners. You can drag the handles or the edges of the rectangular to resize it around a specific element. Having isolated an element, you can add another by dragging a new rectangular in a separate part of the image. You will notice that when you have a rectangular selected, a panel appears in the bottom right of the window. Slicing manually is close to the grid by cell count methods because both of the methods we have to create the rectangles to isolate the element what we want. The advantage of slicing manually is that we don't need to count the number of the elements and spend time placing the rectangles to the correct places several times. This is a basic tutorial of how to slice sprites in Unity Sprite Editor. I highly recommend it that you can understand all of them because each method will be convenient in certain conditions. This is my first Unity tutorial. In the future, I would like to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop to draw and make animation. My plan is two tutorials per week. Also, coding is my main courses. I would like to show my project and how to code the game. By the way, I will improve my bad accident. I have uploaded the text version of the, this tutorial on the website. You can download all sprites from my GitHub as well. If you want the demo in this tutorial and have any recommendations, leave comments and let me know. I'm willing to share my knowledge to you amazing guys. Hopefully you can smash the like button and subscribe me. I will see you in the next time.